Razer are going after the Logitech G502 market in a big way. There are now three new versions of the Basilisk, two wireless being the Ultimate MEX Hyperspeed and the Wired V2, and they've added this button flare to look like the G502. In my review, I called it a more comfortable G502, and I love the clutch as a third button. Feels great, very practical. Here's the thing though, I generally don't recommend the G502 for first person shooters, and the only real reason that I like the G502 is the infinite scroll wheel. The shape is good enough, so the combination works for now. I really like the Basilisk Ultimate in a lot of ways too, but I can't switch to it because I can't edit videos fast enough without the infinite wheel. That's personal preference anyway. It's basically the same shell, so I'll leave a link to the review in the description. In this video, I'll just go over some differences. The latest is a V2 and it has a really soft flexible cable now. These aren't the most flexible on the market, but I'm pretty sure they have good shielding and no issues in a bungee. And so I don't have to repeat myself too much, the V2 and the Ultimate are pretty much the same. Just slightly different textures and materials, and RGB other than the obvious. And the X is the budget model, which means it has mechanical switches, still a top optical sensor, it's a Razer exclusive 3369, which is really good on battery life and performs extremely well in game too. But what it does have is dual wireless connectivity, so it's Bluetooth as well. The other two are top of the line, with Razer's new Focus Plus sensor, which is also really good for battery life. Not that it matters on the wired copy, but still a technically better sensor apparently. They have Razer's new optical switches, which perform extremely well in the latency testing, and also should avoid any double click issues. And here's a quick look at that testing. All perform really well, with the Ultimate and V2 actually better than the Logitech Wireless G903. Now here's a sound test for the buttons. So left and right on the optical switches have a more hollow sound and feel, but it's also lower and potentially less annoying for people around you. They're both good though, I don't mind either, just depends what you like. The wheel on the X is loud for scrolling because it's got a lot of tension. Again, depends on what you want. The side buttons seem the same, and there's only one button on top of the X. Build quality seems fine on all three, except there are some rattles on my copies of the Ultimate and V2. No problems in use, and it might be because they have extra features like the clutch, tilt wheel, and being able to change the tension on the wheel, which is a nice bonus, but pretty sure it adds to the weight. Speaking of the weights, the X comes in at about 109 grams, but could be lowered with a lithium battery to 100. The Ultimate is about 107, and the V2 is about 96. So which is right for you? It depends. The Ultimate is the best, if money is no concern. It does have all the best features, and even has decent battery life with the RGB lights although you will need to set them to dim. The X is a great budget-friendly option, especially being wireless and Bluetooth. And the V2 is a great update to the original, but I'm not sure why they didn't give it the full RGB treatment, especially considering it's wired. They're all great mice, but not really what I consider FPS mice, so don't expect to see them high on my list. And which would I choose between the G502 Wireless and the Basilisk Ultimate? Infinite Scroll Wheel gets a win. If it wasn't for that, the Basilisk has the better features. From having its own charging dock, to being able to bind the wheel scrolling up and down. 
So when you're using Razor Hypershift, you can set it so that it becomes volume up and down. For some reason, Logitech still don't have that feature. Onboard profiles mean you don't need to have Synapse installed, but the X only stores DPI. The Ultimate really is an awesome mouse, but you can't change the speed of the tilt wheel, which may be a way it could compete with the Infinite Scroll wheel. It really does speed up my productivity a lot. So I hope that helps you narrow down your choice. Thanks to Rosa for sending all three out for testing and review. Use your links in the description if you want to help support what I do. And as always, subscribe, like and share this video, and I'll catch you in the next. Okay. Yeah.